U.S. Senator Hillary Clinton has been dealt another blow to her campaign to become the Democratic presidential candidate after the party restored voting powers of two states which had been disqualified. In one of the states, Obama's name wasn't even on the ballot, and now its voters are allowed to pick him. Subject to the same Barack Obama is within arm's reach of the Democratic nomination for the race to the White House, and he's come another step closer to the winning ticket. The party had been split by a bitter dispute between Obama and his rival Hillary Clinton, who had unofficially won nomination votes in Florida and Michigan. Both states had been disqualified for holding their contests early. The Democratic National Committee stepped in to smooth things out and has decided to count the votes under one condition. All pledge delegate positions from Florida be restored, provided that each pledge delegate shall be entitled to cast one half vote. I move that all pledge delegate positions in Michigan be restored, provided that each pledge delegate shall be entitled to cast one half vote. But what Clinton's camp and her supporters are angry about is that Obama's name wasn't even on the ballot in Michigan because he chose not to be included. More than half the delegates eligible to vote for either candidate had unofficially chosen the former first lady, with the rest undecided. Obama has now been awarded half the undecided delegates who can vote for whoever they want. That still leaves Clinton with more support, but it's not enough to win her the presidential nomination. This motion will hijack, hijack, remove four delegates, one by Hillary Clinton, and most importantly, reflect the preferences of 600,000 Michigan voters. Not anywhere in this motion does it say that the unpledged delegates will go to Senator Obama not in the motion. So for a colleague who exercises selective amnesia conveniently too often to sit at this table and try to suggest that we are doing something that blocks voters and hijacks a process, I find it somewhat subjective Meanwhile, Obama has been exercising damage control by quitting his church in Chicago. Uh, we had prayed on it. Uh, we had um, uh, consulted with a number of, of friends and family members who were also uh, connected to the church. Uh, and so uh, this is not a decision I come to lightly. Uh, in, and frankly, it's, it's one that I, I make with some sadness. Yeah. That's after inflammatory remarks by his longtime pastor who had officiated at his wedding and baptized his children, Reverend Jeremiah Wright. He had blamed U.S. policies for bringing the September 11 terror attacks on itself. It also didn't help that a guest pastor at the church had mocked Clinton by pretending to be her, crying over a black man stealing my show, something that was widely circulated on YouTube.